Hello all you out there in virtual reality land. I teach a lot of education majors physics and I wanted to propose a solution or an approximation if you will for the nature versus nurture debate. As, uh, as anyone who's been through an education class, especially an educational psychology class can tell you there are a lot of people that believe that nature, your, your personal nature, just based off of biology and those types of things, the fundamentals of, of who you are, determine very much um, what your personality is going to be like. And then there's a whole other group that believes very strongly that nurture is a larger portion of this contribution and it's actually a full spectrum and I wanted to relate some pertinent conceptual physics topics to this and and the one that I really think is appropriate is vector addition so I'm on a FET simulator which you may have played with before let's assume that this is your base this is your base for determining what your personality is going to be. That would, of course, be nature. That's what you start off with. It's not about uh, what you're born into. Uh, it's not the, um, you know, the people that you're around or the neighborhood you're in or any types of ideologies. This is your fundamental self as born and, and as your nature develops apart from environment. Now, if we take that and we do a little head to tail vector addition here, then you can actually see that as your experiences change, the sum of these, which is the resultant vector here, also is going to be affected. So let's say you, you start off brand new, you basically have no experiences. Then your personality is completely made up of, of crude nature. And then as your experiences grow, that crude nature, that personality now is being attenuated and very much influenced by your nurture side, by the environment, by the things that you think, and the things that you experience and the people around you. So you can actually change this ratio very easily over time and it's actually inevitable. Preferably you can learn to filter your experiences a little bit and, and expose yourself to very diverse experiences to round out this personality. Um, you can also weaken the strength of nature. That's my that's, that's what I believe you could do. You could actually weaken the effect that it has on you, not necessarily by taking this vector and making it smaller, but just by making this a much larger ratio. Perhaps this becomes less important to you. So even if you can't forget your nature, you can at least make it less important. But sometimes you're very stubborn in your ways, and your personality is very strongly based on what you're not what your environment shows you, but what your nature has made you up. So not very eloquently put, but I think you get visually the idea that each one of us does have an overall personality. Some of us might be closer to our base nature. Some of us might be more refined by our environment. And depending on this environment, we'd have different flavors of personality. And so we could leave two-dimensional space and now go into Z space, right? We could go into the Z axis, either into or out of this screen here. And that would be our flavors. It would actually tilt this resultant vector at an angle into or out of the page at certain degrees. So that would be the different personalities which we all come across. And I just think it's an interesting way of thinking about nature versus nurture. So the people that believe that nature is most important this would be their picture. And the people that believe that nurture is most important, this would be their picture. Or they could say, nature is just a little fundamental thing that you build off of. And then all of your experiences add up to put you in some other direction. And that's not to say that this has to be exactly that ratio either. You can change the ratio of these 
again, changing the strengths and maybe even the flavors of your personality by either going into and out of the z-axis or even changing this, making it more obtuse. So just a thought. Maybe it'll help you understand that debate a little bit more.